Guess what time it is? It's time to talk corn. Again. It has been exactly 60 days since I seed started this corn. I've been a little remiss in getting to a part two on the corn, but I'm gonna catch you up to date now. The first thing we need to talk about is the mix in the corn bag, in the bags for corn specifically. If you really wanna watch the full detailed filling process, you can go to the Kitty Pool series, the Kitty Pool Build series, part two, and I go over the mix recipe, how, to, how I filled these bags exactly. I will put a link in the description below to that specific video. So we're going to pick up right here in this part of the series with actually planting the corn seedlings. It was about three weeks before I could plant them, and I explain, you'll see here in a minute why that was. Normally, after you seed start corn, it's going to be ready to plant within probably two weeks. You know, it's pretty difficult when you're seed starting plants to get them all to be the same height. You're not ever going to have it perfect. These corn seedlings were begun about three weeks ago and they're honestly too tall but that's okay what you really want is between six to eight inches and I guess that's why I said in the corn video don't be in a rush to plant normally we have a lot warmer spring but mother nature surprised us this year so I've had to wait you don't want to plant your corn until your nighttime temperatures are about 60 degrees. They do not like the cold. So with these varying heights, I'm going to show you the best way to plant in the bags. We're going to put four plants per bag. Now when planting corn, there are a couple of special things you want to do. First, you want to come in about three inches or so from the outer edge of the bag to plant your corn. Secondly, if you have multi-sized corn, it's best to put the very tallest corns in the back of the bag that face the center of the pool. So here's one that's really tall. carefully squeezing it out of the neck cup. Now, depth wise, you're not trying to bury it, but you are trying to support it. Corn will grow little anchor nodules, 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 however you say it, at the top of the stalk. That's what helps to hold that corn upright into the ground. You don't want those to be exposed. In fact, you need to check them pretty frequently for the first few days to a week to make sure that they're not getting exposed out. If they are, you just want to take a little bit of mix and mound it up around the outside. Okay. So my tallest corn is at the back. Now coming in three inches, I'm gonna make a diamond pattern. And I'm gonna try to pick three that are about the same size here. This first little leaf down here is the cotyledon leaf and I'm just carefully twisting it off. It's not necessary, so I'm getting rid of it. So again, a diamond pattern coming in three inches from the side of the bag. And then our last one for the bag. 
I'm compressing just a little bit on the top, but that's just to support the plant. I'm not trying to compress the mix down below it, just supporting the plant. All right, let me do their other bags and then we'll come back and talk about the final thing you wanna do. Okay, they're all planted, so now you need to give them a good drink of water. Now, every time I do transplants, I don't like to use just plain water. You can, but I always add a teaspoon of fish and seaweed emulsion into one gallon of water and water everything in with that. It gives them a good little boost and I believe helps with transplant shock. This corn was planted around the 1st of May, if I looked correctly, yeah, about three weeks ago. It's had a lot of rain, and we're going to continue to get rain. As you can see, the bags had settled some, so I am adding the ring of fertilizer, and now I'm filling the bag back up with mix. With corn you can actually add somewhere between three four inches on top. That's okay. So make sure your bags are, are full. Now what fertilizer to use? Well in the recommendations you can use a synthetic fertilizer, granule fertilizer, 10-10-10. I like to go with organic. So, the organic ones that I use are, well, the basic one is a 555. So, I double the amount. I use two cups of the 555 instead of one cup of the 10-10-10. Notice that I'm applying the fertilizer just around the outer edge. I'm avoiding getting it close to the plant. Just don't want to burn it. And anytime you add the fertilizer ring, you need to go back and put dry mix on top of it. But with this corn, I cover up my ring first. Then I can fill the bag the rest of the way up here, like I said, up to three to four inches to make sure I've got all that corn and these stalks well supported. They have been bending over a little bit with all the wind and rain we've gotten. Now timing wise, like I said, these were planted three weeks ago. I could have fertilized them uh, at least a week ago without it being a problem. But because we had so much rain, I decided to wait until now. We're still going to have rain, but at least it's not solid rain. It just seems to be periods of rain. So, you don't water your fertilizer in. You let the rain do that for you this will be happening getting watered in probably today if not today tomorrow i'm sure this particular variety of corn is a new one for me it's called bodacious uh, it's a hybrid sweet corn it's supposed to be mature in 75 days there is no way that's going to happen i just can't see it because this is day 60 so we'll see what happens we have had a very cold and wet spring and a lot of storms. So I don't know if that slowed down the growth of this corn or not, but I do see a tassel already forming here on one of the ears. Now this little wire setup, we just slung this up a couple of days ago before the big storm Alberta was coming in to hammer us. And we wanted to make sure we didn't have corn that was laying on the ground like what happened to us last year although we were able to save that corn. 
So I will continue to update you with the growth of this bodacious corn and we'll see how it goes. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching and remember, have a good one.